Chris here from SwapPart.com and uh, I'm going to do a quick little video to show you how to put your panel into uh, test mode. Now, obviously all plasma TVs are different. This happens to be uh, Sanyo DP50747 and uh, you look on the side of the main board you can get your version which this is a J4DE so this is actually a good main board but I just pulled it so you could see how to know if you need a main board because if your TV's not coming on and you put it into self test mode and it does come on with the main board removed then you know your main board is bad so I'm going to reposition this camera <clears throat> and get some lighting over here. Okay, so now, as I already said, I've removed the main board, and you can see how I've just kind of screwed the filter in, keeping the uh, ground screw the ground wire connected and it's just connected the way it should be uh, ordinarily it would be in the frame that the main board is in but I mean I just uh, connected it this way so it doesn't move it's safer that way now we're gonna go to our logic board and even though this is plugged in I have it unplugged on the other end of the cord for safety right now okay let's move this wire out the way and I need some wire. Okay, so you're gonna see here. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, it's probably not a good idea to lean on it because it's just barely balanced in here. Um. Okay, so right here, these are. Our jumper connectors okay that's for putting it into test mode Let's see if you can see them now what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little screw in here just to ground all those pins together uh, you could do it with an alligator clip if you have it you could wrap a little piece of wire around it whatever just to connect them all now let me resituate this so it doesn't tip over on me because it is a good TV. And the next thing that we have to do is zoom out. Okay. These two connectors right here, okay? These get disconnected, but I've left the bottom one in because what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my jumper wires in there. Now the main board is removed. Uh, if I was doing with, with the main board in, I would have to disconnect this connector here as well. But it would be really hard to do this with the main board in because you couldn't get to right here um, where I'm pointing. You have to bear with me. I'm trying to do this with a cell phone camera and. Well, it doesn't have the field of view to see everything at once. <clears throat> so anyway, now if you look at this connector, okay, pay attention to the orientation here. If we can zoom in on it, okay. So I got the tab on this side, right. Now, my wires, try to get some focus. My wires are in the fourth and the sixth hole. The fourth hole is PS on, the sixth hole is ground. When you ground PS on, what it'll do is it'll turn on the power supply. Okay, and then from there your logic board takes over and that turns VS on. And uh, what's going to happen is we're going to see pe uh, test patterns on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Then we're going to go to the other side of the TV, and we're going to see what it looks like. Let's see, got a bunch.
bunch of cords here. I guess that's the one. Now we're going to move to the other side. And zoom out. It's as far back as I can get, but as you can see, the uh, the TV is going through test patterns, and this is basically a factory test mode. Now this tells me right here that everything else is good with this TV. So if I had a bad mainboard and it wasn't turning on, and this did make it turn on then I know that I need to replace the main board. If this doesn't work, then obviously there's something else wrong with the TV. So, hopefully this helps you to make sure that uh, you don't buy the wrong part. And uh, thank you for watching. And good luck with your TV.